I have a young child. How am I to educate him so that he will live a different sort of life without being so different that society will destroy him? You know, there are many schools in India under the we have six schools in India. There is one at Brockwood, one in Canada, one in California, Ohio. First of all, it's very difficult to get the right kind of teachers. When they teach, when they come to teach, the difficulty is they have all kinds of opinions, how it should be done, how it should not be done, the teaching and so on. They project their own desires and volitions and their own prejudices. They may be very capable of transmitting information, knowledge, but they also project their own personalities, their own peculiar idiosyncrasies. So it's a constant tr trouble to get the right kind of teachers. who is really interested in teaching, not only the academic subjects, but teaching something much more, teaching how to live a life as you go along older, adolescent and so on, how to live a life rational, not superstitious, not confused, and so on. It's very difficult. And when we were in India with these six schools, we sent a letter to all the parents saying that these schools intend and are doing as much as possible to free the mind of the child the student from fear, from confusion, and have integrity. So when the parents came, not many of them, they were really not interested in their children, except the mothers. The fathers wanted them to go on to earn a livelihood, you know, follow their own usual routine. But the mothers were a little bit concerned, but perhaps the parents and the children are really responsible. Perhaps they may destroy their children. And when one has a small child, how are you going to educate him? This is a quite, this is a great, it's a great problem. And we are trying at Brockwood to answer this question. Perhaps we shall have young children, but we're going to, we are going to go into it. But the difficulty is, society is so strong, the temptations of the young person who wants to be with other young children, who are already corrupt, who are already, uh, you know, accepted all the nonsense of society, and it becomes extremely difficult to bring up a child who will not yield to the tremendous weight of society. So it behoves not only on the part of the teacher, um, teachers, but also on the part of the parents. It's a cooperative business. It isn't just you send the child to the school and forget all about it. Here in these schools, there are strict vegetarians, and when they go back, they eat meat. So that conflict begins. You know all the rest of it. 
And this is a question that cannot be so easily answered, because it, to have to run these schools you have to have plenty of money, and these schools have survived just on shoestring. And the parents are only too willing to send them there, and the responsibility, the work, the immense concern is there. It's not there. It is there. We've been through it year after year, and it requires not only a cooperation from the parents, but also a good teachers who are capable of understanding not only the academic subjects but all